The occupants of a car traveling at a speed of 25 meters per second note that on a particular part of a road, their apparent weight is 20% higher than their weight when driving on a flat road. What is the vertical curvature of the road? So the first thing to understand is what type, what, what is the road that you're actually driving on in this case? What path are you? Are you on a hill or are you in a dip? So now we're our weight appears to be 20% greater than what it normally is. So in this case, we're traveling down in a dip. So here's our car in the bottom of the dip. We now draw all the forces acting on it. So mg down, normal force up. And we know that because we're at the bottom of the hill, we're in the bottom portion of the circle. So our centripetal acceleration is directed upward. So if we apply Newton's second law in this case, and that force is equal to ma centripetal, we would then have fn minus mg is equal to ma centripetal. Now in this case, our normal force is 20% higher. So it's 1.2 times our weight. If we now plug in 1.2 mg for fn, we have 1.2 mg minus mg is equal to ma centripetal. If we now carry out the subtraction, we would have 0.2 times mg is equal to ma centripetal. Now from here, we can divide both sides by m, canceling out the m's, and 2, uh, 0.2 is the same as 2 over 10, which can be simplified further. So we have a centripetal is 2 tenths of g, or a centripetal is 1 fifth of g. So we're simplifying 2 tenths to be 1 fifth. So you divide the numerator and the denominator by 2, leaving you with 1 fifth. However, we remember that a centripetal is equal to v squared over r. So we now have that one-fifth, the acceleration of the gravity, is equal to v squared over r. Now in this problem, we're trying to solve for the vertical curvature of the road. So we're trying to solve for the radius. So we want to get r by itself. So we multiply both sides by r. We would have gr. We would have g times r divided by 5 is equal to v squared. Now if we multiply both sides by 5 over g, this would leave us with r is equal to 5 v squared over g, leaving us a simple equation that is just in terms of r. If we now plug in our given values, r is equal to 5 times our velocity of 25 meters per second squared divided by acceleration to gravity which is 9.8 meters per second squared we would find that r is approximately equal to 318.88 meters which corresponds to answer E so the vertical curvature of the road is 318.88 meters